Alright guys, welcome to your 38th Intermediate Java tutorial and in these next couple tutorials what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build probably the coolest program that I taught you guys how to build yet and that is a simple chat room in Java. Now I say simple chat room but it actually uses a lot of in-depth features such as streams and sockets and this is probably the first true networking application that I taught you guys how to build yet because you know we build those we built those other browsers and stuff that can go to websites and read files and pretty much connect to the internet but this is a true networking example where I'm actually going to be building two programs here one of them sits on my computer one of them sits on your computer and we can actually chat back and forth to one another so it's absolutely amazing definitely the coolest program that I built yet so let me go ahead and show you guys how this works right now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna build one program first and I'll talk you guys through what a sh uh, you know like what a socket and a stream is as I'm building it because I think that's the best way to do things but I'll go ahead and give you guys a little background about what I'm doing I first made a entirely new project and I named this first class server.java because this program right here is gonna sit on a public server now just a two second uh, you know basic introduction of what a server is if you guys have never heard of it a server is pretty much a computer that anyone in the world can access so you guys are gonna be able to access this computer I'm gonna be able to access this computer my mom's gonna be able to pretty much a server is a public computer so I'm gonna be running this program on my server and any of you guys that wants to chat with me you just have to run the other program and then we can chat back and forth so let me go ahead and uh, start coding this bad boy and you need to do this too so go ahead and make a class called server and the first thing we need to do is import a free things so import have to spell it right import java io there we go already finishing it for me import java.net there we go import java awt import java probably could have typed this out beforehand but you know you guys probably want to okay event right there and the last thing we have to do is import Java X swing and this one's not popping up for me use SOB okay so we got all of our imports again IO net AWT AWT event in swing now what we need to do after this is we're gonna be building a very simple GUI that looks a lot like you, you know how you used to use AOL instant messenger it's basically gonna look like that with a little input where you can type your text in a little chat window which displays the conversation so in order to do that we actually need to extends J frame for all the good GUI crap now I guess I have time basically to uh, go through all the variables and pretty much talk you guys through the core pieces of this application so the first thing we need to do is build some variables for the GUI remember like I said an old uh, I don't even know it's not called a chat room it's basically like a chat application like instant messenger um, you pretty much have a little area that you can type in your text like hey dude sup ASL and you have another area that displays you know your conversations history of all your messages so the first thing that we need is a variable that you can type in your message before you send it so we'll make this variable private J text field and we'll just name it user text text so that's the area that you type in your message before you send it so now we need to create the area that displays the conversation so this is going to be private of course j j text area because you know it's a big area and we'll just name this the chat window now again like I said this is going to display the conversation itself both your messages and you know whoever you're talking to their messages so now after this we need to build some streams so let me go ahead and code this variable object output stream and I'll just name this output so before I continue let me talk to you guys about what a stream is now whenever you connect to someone else's computer through networking in Java 
We'll talk about uh, sockets later on because that's technically what the connection is called. But just think that you have a connection between your computer and someone else's computer. Now the way that you guys communicate, you actually communicate through something called streams. There are two main streams between your computer and another person's computer. There's an output stream and an input stream. Now this output stream is the stream that flows from your computer to your friend's computer. So whenever you send a message, whenever you type, hey dude, this text gets sent, packed up in a boat, sent along the stream to your friend's computer. Now whenever they type a message like, hey man, what the heck do you want? That message gets packed in a boat, or you know, a little rowboat, whatever you want to call it, gets sent in the input stream to your computer. So again, remember this, it's actually really important. Output goes away from you, input goes to you and whenever I say you know like um, the data coming in that's why I'm talking about the messages all the information and that stuff so now since we have an output stream we can send stuff away now we need an input stream so private object input stream input I'm not typing very, very accurately today alright so now we have our stream set up our main passageways that we can send stuff out and receive stuff in. So now what we need to do is we need another variable and this is going to make sense later on, probably not so much sense now. Server socket server. Now remember that I said that basically I'm building this first application that's going to go on the server so you guys are pretty much going to be all of the clients because all of you guys watching this video are probably going to be on a personal computer and you know I'm gonna put this program that I'm building right now on a public server so everyone can access so this is why I need to set up the server that basically says okay wait there's a program that's gonna go on the server and it's gonna wait for everyone to connect to me from a personal computer or from the client so this is pretty much the variable that we have to set up and we just pretty much have to configure the server to say okay this is what port you're gonna set on this is where you're gonna be on the server and pretty much it takes another thing like how many people can wait to be connected at one time so again like I said if you guys don't understand this right now I don't expect you to but later on whenever I'm you know configuring the server and showing you guys how to set everything up to you know accept people that want to chat with it you guys can understand then now the last variable that I want to make right now is pretty much the most important variable for this um well for this tutorial I guess it's a socket itself now you, you remember when I was talking about connections in you know because I had it I said your computer and another person's computer are going to be connected well in Java they actually name connections sockets so whenever I say okay um a socket I don't know what I'm gonna be what context I'm gonna be using it in but I'm gonna say set up the socket I pretty much mean set up the connection between your computer and another person's computer so you guys can actually network interact have a conversation together so there you go there is your very basic um, tutorial and again that's not like the formal definition of sockets but for now for just the introduction that's all you have to remember a socket just think a socket is basically a connection between two computers so in the next tutorial what I'm gonna be doing is we'll set up the GUI first before we get into any real programming so that's what we'll be doing then so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I can't wait to finish this baby